C major variations. So these are some diatonic sequences we're starting on in the key of C, um, starting right on the fifth string, third fret. So, so what we do is we play this major scale. Some difficulty level to it and you got to have the fingering down it's got to be it's got to be just like take a screenshot of this it's got to be essentially the fingering let me get that lined up for you guys right there that fingering screenshot time that fingering is very essential order for it to be played correctly it's uh, probably the uh, most difficult thing that I'm, I'm uploading for you guys to practice if you've, if you've been following my videos <coughs> pardon me you know we've been studying many scales many types of uh, um, open scales minor scales major scales diminished scales harmonic minors melodic minors check out all my previous videos um, i've given you a copious instructional guide to not only cover many of the essentials the fundamentals but enough to get you to playing just about as good as um, um anybody in rock and roll i'm not going to say jazz or country those guys are they're all phenomenal guitars but those guys really know their stuff the jazz and um, country guys and the classical guys, but you know, I, I love that music too. And I started out in rock, rock and roll and stuff. Getting back to the scale, enough of the lecture, right? And uh, so we're going to start with our second finger, the fifth string, third fret. And the key is we play two, four, one, two. Then what you do after you play that sequence, you're playing four notes. You're going to go, if I could show you, just look at that top line. You're going to go to the second note first. And then, this is the third note. And then after that, you're going to go to the third note. So you see how it works. We start in the C, hit the D, and then with the next sequence, starting on the D. Then the next sequence... We're going to start on the E. So that's how that works. Okay, so you're starting on the next note for a series of four notes. Diatonic sequences. All right, here we go. Third fret, second fret, third uh, fret. So second finger, fourth finger, first finger, second finger. And we're changing strings, okay? Fifth string fourth string back to the fifth string fifth fret fourth finger fifth string fifth fret move up to the fourth string second fret third fret fifth fret with your first second and fourth fingers on the fourth string and then uh, first finger so you're doing that again you're repeating the 2nd, 3rd, and 5th frets on the 4th string with your 1st, 2nd, and 4th fingers. Then moving up to the 3rd string, 2nd fret. Now this is very essential that you use, you, you, you automatically want to go to your 1st and 3rd fingers, but you got to use your 2nd and 4th finger on the 4th string, 3rd, and 5th frets. And then... 
second and fourth frets on the third string with your first and first and third fingers. And then your fourth finger is going to go back to that fourth string, fifth fret. Then on the third string, one, three, four, on the second, fourth, and fifth frets, your first, third, and fourth fingers, and your first, third, and fourth fingers with your second, uh, with the second string, second fret, with your third fret, okay, second string, third fret, I'm sorry, with your second finger, gets confusing, back up to the third string, the fourth and fifth frets with your third and fourth fingers, back to that second string, third and fifth frets, back to the third string, fifth fret with your third finger, up to the second string, third, fifth, and sixth frets with your first, third, and fourth fingers, first, third, and fourth fingers again on the second string, third, fifth, and sixth, third, fifth, and sixth frets, up to the first string, third fret, first finger, just like that, then three and four fingers, fifth and sixth fret, second string, first and third fingers, first string, third and fifth frets, we're almost done, okay, and then we're going to play third fret on the first string, fifth fret on the first string, seventh fret with your fourth finger on the first string to that C on the eighth fret. So what I need you to do, I just need you guys to stop on the third line where it's circled, if I forgot to mention that. So there, there it is again. If you didn't have time to screenshot it. This is going to take a lot of practice, but it's worth it. It's a great scale to play. And, of course, you can transpose if you get really ambitious. I suggest that you do transpose. You just memorize the fingering. Once you memorize the finger positioning, you will be able to transpose. All right, good luck and have fun.